Let's now explore how to solve this rectangular box problem. A rectangular box has distinct edges, edges of lengths A, B, and C. The sum of all 12 edges is 13. So, you know, let's just draw a nice rectangular box here so we can understand what's really going on. So we have some edges that are length A, some edges that are length B, and some C. So let's just say this, let's just say this thing is A. Let's just say, let's say blue is A. I'll color code this. So we have A, A, A. Why are all these going to be equal? Because these are all rectangles, right? That's a rectangle, that's a rectangle, and that's a rectangle, and this bottom thing. So all four of these edge lengths are going to be equal. Similarly, that's going to be equal to that, which is going to be equal to that, which is going to be equal to that. All four of those edges are also going to be equal. Let's call them all B. And finally, let's, let's call this one C. This is equal to this, equal to that, is equal to that. C. So the sum of all 12 edge lengths, well, we, we have four of each type. So we just have four A plus B plus C. And this is 13. So A plus B plus C is 13 by 4. The sum of all the areas of the six faces is 11 halves. So there's six faces, and notice that, okay, this, is, this face has an area of AB, this green face. It's symmetric to the opposite face, which also has an area of AB. So in total, we have 2 times AB plus BC plus AC equals 11 halves. So the value of AB plus BC plus AC is just 11 fourths. And finally, the volume of P is one half, or ABC is half. Now we're asked to find the length of the longest interior diagonal connecting two vertices. And this is, of course, going to just be the space diagonal. Squared A squared plus B squared plus C squared. What is this? Well, we can ignore the square root initially, right? Let's first find the value of a squared plus b squared plus c squared. To do this, we just take a plus b plus c. We square that. And this is a common factorization you should know. It's this plus 2 times a, b, c, c, a, c. So to find this thingy, we just subtract a plus b plus c squared, which is 169 over 16. And then 2ab plus bc plus blah, 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 which is just 11 halves. So it's just going to be 169 over 16 minus 11 halves, which is just 169 over 16 minus 88 over 16, which is just 81 over 16. So the square root of this is just going to be 9 fourths. And that's the final answer. So this is actually quite easy for a number 17 on the, on the 10 and 13 for 12. The matrix was just realizing that a plus c plus c a, B plus B, C plus A, C thing, and A, B, C. And this is kind of similar to Vieta's, right? You know, there's probably another solution where you reconstruct the cubic and then you can find that, but that's seriously not necessary. Now you just square this, and then we have 2AB plus B, C plus B, C. And that gives us our nice answer of 81 over 16. Thanks for watching.